So maybe you've also made the experience that on your way of improving or becoming a better person or maybe it's building your own business, there's sometimes like setbacks or sometimes not everything is going your way, right? Maybe in your business, um, like a big project got rejected or a deal didn't get close with a client and stuff like this drags you down on the one level and drags energy from you but also stresses you out because you know okay tomorrow you have to do it maybe again and the same thing again the same stressful situation again and in general this is what stresses you and drags you down so this is exactly what happened to me today first of all I had a client or I was talking to a prospect who was first super super rude and um, wanted to bring me in a position where I have to extremely prove myself why he is here and why I would be here and why we have no value and why I have to convince him that we would be uh, that he wants to invest into us right so he wanted to create a certain dynamic which is usually because he has like ego problems and because his, there's not like great need in the prospect so this was one one like stressful situation maybe um, there was another prospect today that I was um, talking to the conversation itself the sales call was well structured but then there was one objection at the end that I couldn't handle and after what I stressed myself because I said, okay, how stupid I am. I'm, I'm doing this for so long. Why can't I handle this objection? And I was really like almost helpless, helpless in this one situation. So this also stressed me then. And then I had another, I had a follow-up call, like a, a closing call too, as you call that, where it is about the decision. And it was like, for me, almost like 99% sure that he will um, say yes and he will sign a contract that day or today. This client also didn't show up and he wasn't available anymore. And I really felt, okay, this day is almost done for me and I had no energy anymore because it was so demoralizing, right? All those uh, three conversations that I had that day or didn't had this one, right? Uh, were demoralizing and uh, dragging me down, taking energy away from me and stressing me out. So then I was thinking about uh, the video that, that I did yesterday about everything might happen for a reason, right? So maybe this is something that had to happen for me to improve my skills even more. Maybe this is hard feedback that I have to get from the world in order to grow as a person. But I also looked at the video from Dr. David R. Hawkins, which is a person I really like look up to. I really um, learned a lot from him. And I'm still learning a lot from him. I'm reading his books right now. Power vs. Force is what I'm reading right now from him. And this is a guy that I recommend you checking out. And I was seeing a video from him about stress and it was very interesting what he said about stress. So I want to share it here quickly. So he said, we do experience stress when things are happening to us that we do not want. And we do not experience stress when things are happening to us that we want. And the interesting thing here is that it can be the exact same thing. So for example, the example that he made, for example, is like music, right? If there's loud music happening and you want to work, for example, here in this place, let's say I want to work, or I want to record a video, and there's like super loud music, this could, for example, stress me out. But the same music, for example, if I'm in a party mode and I want to party, I want to hang out with my friends, let's say, the same music can energize me and wouldn't stress me out at all because I'm in that moment in a party mode. So this means that stress is internal and it's about our attitude towards the thing that is happening. And furthermore, he then concluded, which is also interesting for me, he said that stress is resisting what we do not want and not stress is receiving or getting what you want. So this means that the stress is lies inside of us, is internal and can also be instantly solved if you would just switch or change our attitude towards the thing that is happening to us. For example, what he says is that we should always see the humor in things because this is what he says like calibrates like higher, it's a higher level of um, emotion, higher level of consciousness, uh, but this is like way deeper. If you want to understand this, I would recommend you reading his books, um, Letting Go and for Power vs. Force. But basically the, the shift in the attitude is what solves the, the stress. And I tried this out for myself and I was um, trying to reframe and trying to change the attitude towards the things that were happening to me and towards like a more funny, funny way of looking at life and at things, right? In that moment, like the, this pain, oh, I didn't close or oh, he was rude to me or whatever, or he was like a hard prospect was very real. But then I can switch the attitude and see it in a funny way. Like, okay, how, how ridiculous is how ridiculous is it that I'm talking to people, I have the opportunity to make money with those people. And yeah, some of them might be super rude, but why do I have to take this personal? He doesn't really know me. So I can see the ridiculous and the humor uh, in this. The same with the person that uh, wasn't, that I did not close in that uh, scenario. I was talking to somebody, I had the opportunity to make money, which is awesome at first. And it's funny that I was not able to, uh, to close him, right? So I also had the opportunity, or I also could see that there's lots of room to improve, right? For me, it is easier to see the human things if I view myself a bit like, let's say, um, in a video game or like in a, in a movie, right? If I think about myself as a movie character that is walking through life and going through challenges. Because in a movie, the person that you see there, um, he's sometimes going through hard things, but you're disconnected from the, the harsh reality in that moment because you're just viewing the movie and you're just viewing the character. So it's easier to laugh 
about this person or with this person, about the funny things that are happening to, to him, that this person in the movie might not be able to laugh about. And I was doing this like many, many years ago, but I a bit forgot this. But I will continue doing this again, that I will um, separate myself from the things that are happening to me, maybe a bit see myself like as in a movie, movie character, say, okay, I'm, a, I'm in a movie character here, like shooting uh, videos about my life, which is super funny, right? Some people are hating, some people maybe love my, my, my content, funny. I'm there, I'm a movie character that is like trying to build his life by um, learning how to close deals on a super high level, learning how to pe speak to people who have lots of money and struggles with this. Funny, funny story or funny, um, funny journey that this character is going through right now, right? So thereby I can, I can switch the attitude towards the things that are happening to me. All of a sudden it's, it's not stressful anymore and it drags me down, but all of a sudden it's funny. It's like cool things that are happening to me that energize me. The same with YouTube. I had the attitude often like, okay, YouTube is like also stressful a bit because I'm always in like stressful situation with the sales, right? Because sales can be stressful sometimes with the wrong attitude, especially when you're in sales calls every day and you have to like persuade people. And then every day producing like videos, like go out and uh, try to like, think about content, being like outside where people might look at you. This could also be stressful, right? People are looking at you, the eyeballs are on you, but they are maybe laughing a bit, judging you. But if I change the attitude towards this, hey, it's funny, it's, it's funny that um, this character, this movie character might be, might be a bit shy about sharing his life on YouTube um, or, sh or speaking in front of the camera while people are looking. But is it really that bad if you think about it? No, it can be seen also in a funny way. So this is what I wanted to share today. I will write this down for me, by the way, a new frame or I, or I will write it down as part of my frames because it reminds me hey stress is just internal it's about my attitude towards the thing that is happening to me and if I just switch the attitude towards something funny this is usually something energizing instead of something that is taking away energy from me if we have more energy we can perform better in life can achieve our goals quicker and better without burning out all right, I appreciate that you watched this video until the end. I hope it was useful and you learned something out of this and maybe it helps you when you're stressed sometimes to switch your attitude. For everybody who doesn't know me, my name is Dennis and some years ago I committed myself to achieve all of my goals and dreams and right now I'm on that journey, right? And this journey will be documented here on YouTube and I want to document the ups, the downs and the learnings in between and the learnings will be shared here, like for example today on YouTube. Uh, yes, if this is interesting, you can consider subscribe down there and we might see each other uh, with less stress and more energy in the next video. Thanks for watching.